being able to relay to the players what their strengths are and really do it in a lot of different ways. I think as a former player, when you're just getting involved in the game, you physically want to go out and show players how to do things. But I've learned over the past uh, number of years, there are different mediums you can use to really uh, help a player on the court. And that's, that's been the biggest learning curve and thing that I've learned as, as a former player going over to, the, to coaches. My name is Ed Pinckney. I'm an assistant coach with the Minnesota Timberwolves. So I grew up in the inner city in New York City, in the Bronx. We had this uh, kind of combination field that was a baseball field, basketball courts, and football field. I was a baseball guy. First baseman, played baseball uh, my, my entire time. Uh, up until the time I got to high school, I grew nine inches in high school. One of my friends, who's actually a football player, invite me to a tryout in Harlem, and I got completely embarrassed by, <laughs> by being out on the court. So it wasn't a good experience, uh, the first one. It was, a, it was a bad one for me, but that triggered uh, my interest in the game uh, all, a, a lot more, and I, I figured out from that experience I had to really work at the craft. I uh, finished playing and had great interest in, in remaining with the game and uh, had an interview with Pat Riley. And uh, at the time, uh, you know, we talked about me potentially joining the team. Obviously, some things would have had to have happen in order for that. You know, after the talk, I thought about it and, and, and instead of playing, talked about trying to be part of the game in a different way. And I was afforded the opportunity to become a college scout with the Miami Heat. That, in turn, gave me another opportunity to become a broadcaster. Uh, and that was my interest into the game after my, my playing career was over. I got a great opportunity from Pat Riley and Randy Fun. During the, the middle of my career, I was exposed to a lot of great players who eventually became coaches. I had an opportunity to play with Larry Bird and Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish. Kevin McHale and, and Larry Bird both coached in the NBA, but those were two very instrumental guys that kind of put the seed in my head while I was playing that you could still remain in the game, but not in a playing capacity. Uh, and they were just both great role models on the court. And, um, you know, I give them a lot of credit for, for helping me along the way.